cases in a city, out of those five people has to be randomly picked and genetic seeking has to be done. And we need to see whether they are di behaving differently. In UK is doing 15 to 10 to 15% of their cap samples on a daily basis. We don't have such a surveillance system. And I think that is the need of the hour. And second thing is, whatever may be the mutant virus, the good thing is, if we have mask and we are in an open space, we don't enter closed space, definitely right. uh, we are safe. Right, and that's the point that the Chief Minister Maharashtra made yesterday, that please follow the mask rules and, you know, otherwise you'll be facing another lockdown. We have with us Dr. Mufasal Lakrawala. Thank you so much, Doctor, for joining us. A very worrying situation in Maharashtra. I was just speaking to Dr. Shinoy about how, you know, in Kerala, earlier the cases were rising, but now they seem to have steadied somewhat and the positivity rate has come down somewhat. But now in Maharashtra, big worry. Restrictions are already in place in some areas and also uh, no big gatherings have been allowed. Yes, I think what the chief minister said yesterday was very, very correct. It is a huge worrying sign. He said that in Amravati, 1,000 cases per day was the, at its peak. And today, it's such 1,000 cases a day. And that's why they've had to shut down the place. The thing is that people have forgotten the very basics of how corona was prevented right in the beginning. Nobody is using social distancing. People have let go of their masks. They just This false sense of bravado has cost us very dear. And that's where the chief minister is coming, that don't compel us to shut places down. It's a kind of request with a certain warning attached to it, that please, please don't allow us to go back to the dark old days of corona when we were really struggling. Economy was hit. Now, they, uh, they, it's a envious task to be the chief minister of a state which has got the largest numbers. Because on one hand, he has to handle the economy, has to open up the, the cities and the places. At the same time, he has to convince people to keep uh, putting up those precautions when they're out in public, which people have let go. Right, and therefore extraneous things like, you know, social gatherings, religious gatherings, political gatherings, uh, you know, he, he's, he said not to uh, go ahead with that. But uh, doctor, also the worry about the variants, what do we know so far about, you know, how prevalent or uh, the variants may be in the state? The, the problem is that uh, Maharashtra was one of the first uh, people to lock down its borders, whether people were coming from the UK, people coming from Brazil right now, from UAE. Unfortunately, people are taking the other route. People are coming from different cities of uh, um, India wherein there is uh, no kind of regulation on how they come in. And so it's a sad state that people feel that they can they can circumvent the rules by, by using a loophole in the system and actually putting not only the family members at risk, but also all those healthcare workers who've sacrificed so many years, uh, I mean, at least months, of their life, uh, leaving their uh, loved ones at home, and then increasing the numbers. I think that people have to be responsible first. People should not try and, and circumvent the rules. If they're coming from UAE, UK, wherever, Brazil, for example, they should stick to the compulsory quarantine of seven days institutional, get tested twice, and then come out. Because it's going to be impossible. There's so many mutants. We do know that uh, every virus does mutate. Now, which virus is more infective like uh, the uh, the head of uh, AIMS, Dr. Goleria, did say that maybe these might be more infectious. We do not know. So it's impossible to keep uh, testing various, various strains. We do know that the South Africa strain is not even as effective to the, the vaccine. Another thing that people have let go is they believe that vaccine has come in, so they let go of all precautions. Now, people must understand that it might take them at least three months, even after the vaccine shots, before they might be resistant to this uh, virus. So please don't let go of your precautions until then. All right. And all the hard work that has been put in by the medical fraternity go to waste. Thank you so much, Dr. Lakravala and Dr. Shinoy, for joining us on the show this morning.